recently Drake Bell was caught huffing balloons in the car with his son. Now we learn that his wife Janet is leaving him and he's seeking help for substance issues. There's a lot going on in Drake's life, so let's get into it. Well, it seems like Drake Bell can't catch a break. If you guys don't know who Drake is, you may recognize him from the Nickelodeon show Drake and Josh. He's found himself in a bunch of trouble the last couple of years, and now it seems like his family is breaking apart, which I feel really bad about. I really thought Janet was his ride or die, but it looks like Drake and Janet are separated, and they've been separated for months now. And it also seems like he's seeking help for substance issues. Issues, which I really like, ugh, that just breaks my heart. I just made a video about Rob Kardashian and his alleged overdose. So seeing this, it's like, wow, so many people are struggling right now. When it comes to Janet, I really did not see this coming because they've been together for a long time and they do have a child together. Drake actually has a YouTube channel with 800,000 subscribers and he posted a podcast episode on there nine months ago with his wife, Janet, and it seemed like they were all right. They posted this episode on March 19th, 2022, and he claims that he was going to spill the tea in this episode because at this point josh the person he worked with on drake and josh said that drake wasn't his friend which you may remember there was some drama about josh not inviting drake to his wedding so there's already some tension there and when josh spoke about drake drake decided to make an entire podcast called Drake and Janet, and he spoke about Josh and spilled the tea and claimed that they were really friends when Josh claims that he wasn't friends. And I have to say, like, if someone says that you're, they're not your friend, then you don't go out and say, like, yeah, I'm your friend. I feel like that's just like, what? It's like, if someone claims that you're not their friend, then you need to reevaluate and realize that this person isn't your friend, or at least if they're claiming they're not, they don't want to be so just stop it there he was you do that for guys, a friend no that's, but that's, i know but today on his interview he yeah. said or right like didn't he oh yeah he yeah said, he said that we weren't friends right yeah, yeah. Right. so riverside's like kind of a far drive to like go it's like two hours like for not a friend no i mean we're friends wait but i'm saying but <laughs> but we were friends yeah, I understand, but today he told everyone that once your show was over, you weren't friends. Oh, and... oh, well, that's not true. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm. I, that, that's why I was getting yeah. confused. He actually went on to show a bunch of pictures of them together, and you could tell that this really hurt him. So I actually do kind of, like, feel for him because, like, clearly, like, he's hurt by this. He thought Josh was his friend. It's just next level to go and make a whole podcast and to mimic this show and to bring Janet on there. And again, it seems like Janet was his ride or die. Like, she he was going to do anything for him. But honestly, I would make my divorce public if my husband was huffing balloons with my child in the car. That's just like a safety issue right there. So that was a clip of him in the car with the balloons and um, it looks like he's doing like whippets or some type of like, I can't remember what it's called, like CO2 or something along those lines where it gives you a quick like head high and then it goes away very quickly. So you've got to keep inhaling it over and over again. But the article reads that Drake and his wife have separated. A source tells People that the actress left the Nickelodeon star a few months ago. They've been married since 2018 and dating for five years, which actually we didn't learn about their marriage until like right before he was sentenced. So their marriage was kind of a secret. While the former couple have gone their separate ways, being a parent is still a top priority. Janet is devoted to raising their son. Drake and Janet are committed to maintaining a peaceful co-parenting relationship and giving their son the best life possible. Hmm. 
which I'm like, the balloon situation is not the best life possible, but okay. News of their split comes weeks after photos and videos of Drake are released of him huffing a balloon in a car after he's seen leaving a California vape shop. So we, you could pretty much insinuate that he probably bought some whippets there, filled up the balloon, and just started getting high in the car. According to the source, Drake is now getting outpatient help for substance issues. Quote, Drake needed to take some time to get help and focus on his health, which I appreciate. Like, um, we don't want to see anyone struggling out here. We don't want to see Drake get sick and on these, like, drugs. Like, he's got a baby to live for, and they're separated now. Maybe they can get back together, but I think Janet's probably over it. But there is something off about their relationship because in the beginning it was a secret and I feel like when relationships are too private then there's something they're hiding. Drake and Janet have been notoriously private about their relationship. Drake only revealing that the two were married and had a son in 2021 in a tweet. Again right before his sentencing they did like a photo shoot with like some Disney and um he sent out this tweet revealing that he's married and all of that, so he did it right before he was sentenced to try to distract the news. He was quoted saying, In response to various rumors that are incorrect, I've been married for almost three years, and we are blessed to be the parents of a wonderful son. Thank you very much to the fans around the world for your good wishes. So, um good for him that he had this going but also again like if i was a secret wife i would be pissed because i want like my person to show me off and to be proud of me and our child together but i think that he saw that this like criminal situation was coming forward and it probably just wasn't good to mix the two until he really needed to to try to distract a narrative. He's still on probation for these child endangerment charges that he faced in 2021 and it's all part of this girl who claimed that he had groomed her since the age of 12 and had did things to her throughout the years. Again, she wasn't able to like get more serious charges because of statute of limitations and I think jurisdiction because she's Canadian, but she was able to get him on child endangerment, even though she had a ton of evidence. I actually requested um, the entire folder of evidence from the like Ohio County office. It took like three weeks for me to get it and I've never actually released anything from it, but I have a Dropbox and like one day I could show you guys like what she claimed happened because there's so much in there that the media outlets didn't report on. Like there's like pictures of like birthday cards that he had given her that acknowledge her age and things like that. So there's a lot to her story and I feel like only not even half of it has been told yet. And that's not the only victim of Drake's. At one point, his ex-girlfriend Melissa came forward and she gave a public statement, which I have made a video about. So if you have not learned about this situation, definitely go check it out. But again, I thought Janet was his one because through the Melissa thing through the you know the Canadian victim situation I mean that was huge she stuck by his side and even at some point she was texting me which I know she was texting me because I've never had it where you type in a person's number and their name literally comes right up like usually that happens sometimes but not as often you know you get a call and you google it and you can't figure out who it is well I google it when this happened like last year and I knew exactly who it was because it came the name came up right away and Janet was texting me because of my coverage of Drake's charges let me just just quickly remind you guys of these text messages. I do have texts from Drake, which I have publicly released, but this one from Janet made me believe that they were going to be together forever because she wrote that this is Drake's wife. Uh, we're reaching out because there's a case being built on a lot of your content on YouTube. I don't know what the case is. I don't know if it's still being built. I doubt it. Um, there was a legal team that they wanted to bring me in with. Um, they were actually going to be at Virginia at this point, which I was living in Virginia, and they wanted to meet in person. They claimed that they had a family emergency the day that me and him were calling each other back and forth, but I was going to be part of some big news and some information that would have been the most views I've ever received, which I'm like, girl, you don't know anything about views. Also, I don't do it for the views, but she claims that Drake and her were going to tell me about the truth with their team present, which I'm really interested in the truth that they were going to tell me about. I'm honestly so bummed to have watched this happen. Um, they wanted to open a conversation between him and I, and I made it all public which is not what they wanted what they wanted was to corner me in spit out some narrative to me and have me regurgitate it on my youtube channel which is something i just do not do i make everything public you guys know this if you've been watching my channel for some time um but yeah this was her text message to me and i think it's really damning that she felt comfortable sending this whole thing or at least she's like 
so down for Drake and his, I guess, his side of the story, which I feel like I cannot imagine dating someone who has these type of allegations against them. She ended it by saying, I respect a hustle. If you know anything about me, I respect it a lot. Okay, Janet, she respects the hustle. I guess she's a hustler. I I don't really think of myself as a hustler. We just saw an opportunity to chat because we're going to be in the area and our lawyers are in New York. Anyways, we don't want any harm to you and you have my personal number now and Drake's. Reach out if you need to. Well, I'll say, Janet, reach out to me if you want to give a statement on this whole situation. But this text message and Drake's, like, I, I, I've never responded to any of them, and I just have them on. I don't delete my messages. So I was like, you know, I was thinking today, wow, I can't believe they're splitting up because, like, that girl it sounds like she'll do anything for him. So he must really be in a bad place. And even though Drake is pretty much a criminal and he's got a lot of issues, I do send some good vibes and some healing to him because if he's having substance issues, you know, He's going through a divorce. He's got all these problems right now. I'm worried about his well-being. I mean, we see Aaron Aaron Carter out here, which I feel like <laughs> you heard me like hesitate. I'm like, I probably shouldn't speak on the Carter situation, but um, you see people like him, and I just like I would hate to see Drake Bell go down that road, even though he has his problems and we've seen them. We have evidence for them. We don't want anything bad to happen to him we want justice at the end of the day and he was taken to court and he's on probation for it now but now he's struggling and i don't think it's time to go and hate on him or send a lot of you know negativity because the guy is clearly going through it he's clearly suffering so hopefully things get better for him and i want to hear what you guys think about this in the comments below i'll see you guys in a new video soon bye guys